Hey guys, so um, I received a new Chic Style item yesterday and I really want to do a review on this particular item and this letter and do a comparison which with another letters that I also have from Chic Style. So let's get to it. So this is a Chic Sparrow classic, no pockets, um, no pen loop, Travers notebook, and Jitney Red with white stitching, and no embossment, so there's no handwriting here. So let's just get, get a good look of this notebook right now, so I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. So I just want to state that this notebook did not come like that, don't come like this to me in the first place. It was super super smooth and it has like more of a blackish brownish um, tint to it. So this is the part that is um, very similar to the notebook that I got. But I didn't really like how it looks. I wanted to add more texture and more of the reddish tone to this notebook. So I did some distressing here and you can see there's like lighter marks, um, lighter red tone marks on my notebooks. So in order to get this, this type of mark, all I did was just fold my notebook like this and kind of just press it down. It'll give you this mark. If you press it, if you press the notebook this way, you will still get a mark, but these marks will um, wear away the more you use it. So this is what it looks like. This is the back. The back is super soft and silky, but the fiber are much more longer. They're much more longer. And it does come with four elastic right here. And let me just do this. This is what it looks like. Close. I'm so sorry because I'm just doing this with one hand. Oh. Let me just put this this way. Okay. Hopefully, this gives you an idea of how it looks. Okay. Now I wanted to compare. The, um, I forgot to mention, Jenny wrote is the Outlanda letter, so they have one. Um, they have another one in Soldier and Tan, and that's the one that I really want to compare with. I do have that in personal sign, which is right here. So let's go over Soldier and Tan first. So my Soldier and Tan is in personal size, also in the classic. So no stitching. Um, I mean, they're stitching, but no pockets and no pen loop. So as you can see, the soldier and tan is super pebbly, like right here. Hopefully it focuses because I'm filming with an iPhone right here. And the back. The one that I got, the back is super, super smooth. So this part is super smooth. There's not much texture to it, which I really, really like. Mm. Let me put the two notebooks together so you guys can compare because I know a lot of people have um, some question regarding these specific type of letter. So hopefully you guys can see. Okay. So I will, and then I'm gonna help you compare the thinness of the letters. Let me just. See. Oops, there's like something right here. I'm compare the thinness of the letter. So both letter is about the same um, thinness. I don't know what's that called, but they're not that thick at all compared to the cream letter from what I know. And also, I know a lot of people have questions regarding the floppiness of both letter. So this is a Jitney Red, okay? So Jitney Red is not as pliable as a soldier and tan so it's like um let me just hold it this way it doesn't look i'm trying my best to show you guys 
so it just lies flat like this as um when you compare it to soldier and tan let me just get my traverse knuckles right here so when you it actually flop out like that there's actually like a curve so that's flipping out but for the jitney red it really doesn't like it, it holds more structure to it i have to say let me just compare the inside too so soldier and tan is definitely more of a reddish brown while jitney red right here it's more of a yellowish brown if i'm describing that correctly so yeah so let me put the letters together so you guys can see one more time and then i do have a micro tube and soldier and tan so this is the variation of the letter Okay, hopefully it helps you guys. Unfortunately, I don't. I'm not gonna own the Jitney Red anymore because the size doesn't really work for me. So I'm gonna order one in the pocket size. So let's just get one last look at the Jitney Red. It's gonna go to a wonderful lady, and I really hope that she loves it because I love it too. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful notebook. So um, I'm going to post the video up and then if you guys have any questions, just feel free to comment and I'll try my best to answer all the questions for you guys, okay?